We have money, artificial, fictional, channel point money, riding on you, Mousy. On me? On you. Let's see if you All can right, do no. a special move. All right, chat. She's got five minutes. Five minutes? Five a minutes. To do a special move. Let's see if she can do it. I got you counting down, Mousy. Five minutes is a long time, but she's taking some of that time to learn the motions. She did? I did one. She did a DP? I missed it. What? When? Ah! Ah! I was looking at chat. No way. Someone I clip it. Viper. Did she really? She did a DP? Of all things, she did the DP. Of course she did. Her first DP? No way. On at? No. Do it again. <laughs> the motion is forward, down, forward. Oh my God. She did it. Bruh. Well, the believers are getting paid out tonight. Of all things, can you believe that she, she can do a DP, but she can't do a gun flame? Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. That's nuts. All right. That's freaking awesome. All right. Let's see if you can do a super. <gasps> can she do a super chat? Okay. Mouse. The super that you that you need to do. All right. It looks like this. Whoops. Wrong one. If you want to know what comes after, you have to do it. Here's how you do the, the, the super. Okay? Here's how you do it. Quarter circle back. Do you know what, like, uh, oh, so you do down, back, down, back, down, back. So you do basically quarter circle backwards and the and the heavy button. This button right here. So you do quarter circle back twice. Yeah, you got it. That button right there. But you do quarter circle back twice. You got it! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> She did it! Oh, Pog Champ! Damn! So he has another one. You do half circle back forward. Half circle back forward. And then you press. And you press the same button that you just did. Half circle back and then f finish off with a forward. Oh, you're, you're, you're pretty much doing it. You just gotta do it a smidge bit faster. I'm seeing your input history. Oh, you got it! Ooh, she did it! She got the tyrant rave. Do the tyrant. Do it. Do it one more time so we can see the full animation. I didn't. She, she's learning fast, right, chat? Yeah, right. Dude, she did it again. Rave. Dude, she's learning fast. All right, Mousy. Let's 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 look. Let's find your character. Not go to Yuki. This guy. I think this character is a little bit harder to play because he has uh, resources to be able to man. But this character, how he plays is he has a giant ass sword. All right. He teleports around everywhere and he has a grab where he bites you. Arr. Yes. Giant ass sword though. Keep that in mind. Milia waifu with deadly hair. Oh my God. Her hair is a, is, is a, is a scythe. Yep. She can basically turn her hair into a weapon, whatever she wants it to be. Yes, beautiful hair. She's like Rapunzel. Yeah, like Rapunzel. She's got nice hips. Look at them hips. And I think she's holding on to her arm because she watched too much JoJo. I don't know. This character is very fast paced and mostly relies on aerial approach, which means that she can dash around everywhere in the air. This game, you can, uh, you know how you can dash and run in, on the ground where you can, you can dash in, in the air. And this character in particular has more dashes than other characters in the air. So she can basically just dash around in the air like a freaking fly. So yeah, she's really fun, but she has very low health, which means that she dies pretty easily. Oh, boo. Yeah, she's got a lot of mobility, but she's like a glass cannon. Has a lot oh, of great. different ways to, to you know, go zip zippity zappity, but can die that easily. That would be me. If I, were to, if I were a fighting character in a game, I think I would be a glass cannon. You know, probably. Next character, uh, Chip. He's a ninja. He's a ninja. Uh, he's a ninja. Yeah, that's really not much to say. He's a ninja. Oh, oh, I will say this. He's a weeb and he's a president. 
Yes, he's the president, president of it. Yes, he's the president of his own country, and he's a giant weeb. Uh, anyways, yeah, he's a huge weeb. He's the president of his own country. He's a ninja. He's very fast. He's also glass cannon. He dies very quickly. Next up, the character you were just playing. Soul bad guy. He is the main character of this game. Lore-wise, he's overpowered, and we don't want to get into the lore, but I will say that he's... He's hot? He's hot? Yeah. Well, I will say this. I don't know if this will interest you, but uh, he's a grandpa. He's a what? He's a grandpa. Is he a grandpa? Yes. I knew it. I knew it. I, I won't it. go beyond that, but just to let you know, he's a grandpa. Oh, my God. Hot grandpa. Yes. Come he may me. not look like a hot grandpa, but that's because uh, he can't really age too much. He's like over 100 years old. Oh my god, perfect gilf. <laughs> exactly. So, Soul Bad Guy, main character, really good. You play with him, he's pretty fun. Kai, he's the pretty boy. A lot of people really like to get on that, you know what I mean? He has a punchable face. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. He is the king of his country, alongside two other kings. There's three kings in this country. He's the first king. The second king, he's about to show up in just a second. And Kai is considered to be the go-to character if you want to pick up this game and have a beginner character. Well, he seems, like, really annoying. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. He's he also... He has a very punchable face. It reminds me of someone. I see. I mean, I can... You, I, we can we can get in there. We can start punching away if you want. Next character, one over. Oh, by the way, he's Soul's son-in-law. Kai is Soul's son-in-law. Son-in-law. Yeah. Grandpa will always be superior. Amen. I agree. All right. Next character over is May. This ah! this is the dolphin character that so many people have told you about. Here's the thing with this character. All right. She produces many, many, many dolphins, and she says this word called totsgeki, which means charge or attack. And she rides this dolphin towards you, and then if you want to, if you're good enough, you can do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. A lot of people like this character because of that, and hate this character because of that, too. Uh, she's a pirate. She's part of the jellyfish pirate. I like her. Uh, she's got a very cute voice. She is very tiny with a ginormous anchor. Zato number one. So Zato actually has a companion that's called Eddie. Eddie is his companion. It's this little shadow creature that can morph into anything. In previous games, actually possessed Zato. But over time, Zato has kind of taken control and uh, has uh, learned to control Eddie. He's like a mix of Dio yeah. and Vega from Street Fighter. Guess what? His Japanese voice actor, Dio. Ah! Ah! Yes, he's very fun. And guess what? He's also Spanish. Really? Espanol. Yeah, Espanol. The only thing is, wow. this character's hard as balls to play, but he's very strong and very good. Kono Dio da Ino. Oh, that's sexy. She is the big baddie. Lore-wise, OP. She's bad? She's a bad girl. No. She has pretty interesting special moves. Her most iconic special move is called Stroke the Big Tree. What? Yes. They nerfed her uh, special move names in this game, but before, she definitely had very suggestive... Stroke the Big Tree? That's like, that's like jerking off a winner. Yeah, correct. Very suggestive what? special moves. She's very sexual. In previous games, yeah. you see where that black top is? Yeah. She had nothing there, but they 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 kind of nerfed. Why did they why did they put top on her? Just the jacket, but the jacket was bigger. Why why did they change that? <laughs> you gotta take it up with them. Why would they do that? I don't know. I don't know. They just wanted to be a little more. Uh, I don't know. Not as suggestive, I guess. But they nerfed her. Uh, yeah. The booba got nerfed. Free the tetoles. Free the tetoles. This character has a guitar. That's her weapon. Well, she's a guitar hero. She is. She's a guitar goddess. She's hard to play, but she is very good looking. So that's Eno. I like. Bottom left. I just realized that my character is bottom left, chat. Oh my god. You're Anyways. bottom left? 
my character. This is my my main character. I just realized that my character's bottom left. Okay, so Anji, Anji Mito, my favorite character in this current roster right now. As you can see, he's got ginormous fans. He can actually produce butterflies that can knock you on your dome. He's and hot. I know, right? So I'm saying. He's got glasses. He very has no nipples though. I mean like Free the nipples. Free, free, free. They nerfed his nipples too. I can't believe it, dude. And I, I like this character so much that I got myself a giant fan as well. I have a giant Ooh. fan. Do you hear it? Woo! There it is. Whoa. Giant fan. Leo White Fang. Oh my god, daddy! <laughs> so this is Leo White Fang, aka Gorilla Man. Um, yeah, he is a big buff dude with these Tonfa swords and very buff, thick legs and arms. Buff. He's very swole. buff. Yes. Very swole. He is one of the better characters in this game because he promotes a playstyle where you just not give an absolute rat's ass. Super fun character. He's got everything in the book to be a great character and really fun to play as well. He also has uh, some really cool. He does everything have. Everything the light touches. <laughs> everything. <laughs> the he Lion King. Win. <laughs> He's daddy for a lot of people. I want to be part of a circle of life. Ooh, good, I like that. <laughs> I want to you know, Leo's circle of life and everything the light touches is mine. <laughs> Mouse, he's just there under the sun. Faust, now this is an interesting character because this is... Oh no, this is the Voldo of this game? Uh, no. He is... <laughs> He's the gone th through the most change out of any character from previous games. This character used to be one of the goofiest clowns in any fighting game. Like to the point where one of his supers consists of him doing the finger gun and probing you. I just noticed he has a syringe between his legs and it looks like it's his wiener. <laughs> it's a sharp wiener. He's ready to probe. Pro <laughs> <laughs> Ready for that Faust Eroge, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, he's a pretty fun character. He throws items, random items. He can throw bananas and donuts. He can also throw anchors and afros and meteors. So he has like a very random item toss special move. And Whoa. he's a doctor and he can probe people with his Whoa. wiener syringe. Oh, and... Uh, Underneath the bag is, uh, he's bald. He's so bald that he will blind anybody who takes it off. What? Yep. Don't look directly into his bald head. That ass. Axel Low. This character, he can stop he time. Like, he literally yeah, is he's Dio. Like, he's very ganky. And he seems like the type of person where it's like, he's like a really good friend. Oh my God. You freaking read, read him like a book. Because that's exactly what he is. He's homie. He is the homie. Like number one friend. He is. That's good. Wow, damn. I, damn, Mousy. Octo Pimp voices him? Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, Octo Pimp voices him. Oh. That's correct. I can see that. So, uh, he that's his, his it's his English voice acting. Correct. He is literally Dio. He controls time. He can rewind, oh. he can go forward, he can stop it. So he's Dio. After he's literally Dio. Anger management. He's like Dio's, can I say his son? Yeah. His son. Yeah. It's like Dio's son. Like, if he had a son, and uh, he's very ganky. Dio yeah. has a son, Giorno. Oh, he do? Yeah, he got a son, Giorno Giovanna. Oh, Giorno's his son? Yeah. Wow. i never seen That's Jojo. So son. Know. You never watched Jojo? No. Oh, my God. We must rectify this problem immediately. <laughs> really? You got to watch Jojo. I guess I should. But anyways... So I can't say he's that's his son because he already has a son. What about his grandson? Is that taken this is too? Happy, happy deal. Happy deal. Okay, this is yeah, alternate dimension Dio that's happy, not a vampire, and actually a cool dude. How about that? That that better? Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, Potemkin. He's a ginormous dude that if he grabs you, you're dead. Oh shit. Like he lives to grab you. Yeah, he's just a big old big dude with like robot enhancements and he wants to give you a big old bear hug and he hurts if he does don't let him grab you ramlethal ramlethal oh. valentine she is really fun 
and really cool. She's got these giant swords at her side at all times. She can throw them. She can swing them. She can do whatever she wants with them. Um, yes, she is part of Feet Gang for sure. She also was the big baddie of the previous game. And now she's good because she got a puppy. Yes, every time you win with Ramlethal, she, she, uh, the puppy comes out. And it's so adorable. She gives off a Sephiroth vibe. Weird Sephiroth Maybe it's the giant swords. That might be it. Her thighs are crazy, dude. And uh, they added jiggle physics to her thighs, too. The reason why we know this is because there's some real, real curious people out there on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, she's really fun. She's got a puppy. She is really good as well. And she's got giant swords. Last but not least, Giovanna. Giovanna! She is a character from Brazil. She is a Capoeira. kicking character that does do a form of capoeira it's not all capoeira it's a lot of kicking moves she has this crazy green dog at her side at all times that helps her in combat but she's a pretty straightforward pretty simple character that kicks a lot and she does have capoeira inspired moves and she has something that i like to call a fiona install which means if she has full meter she turns green like an ogre and she gets some hulk like she-hulk i like to call it fiona she-hulk is pretty dope though this character definitely might be right up your alley if you want so now out of all these characters which one vibes with you the most i'm between giovanna and the, and the dolphin girl okay <laughs> dolphin girl okay then let's see let, let, let's break it down to this then let's listen to their themes and okay. then if we listen to their songs whichever one you like the best is the one that you'll laugh and it's the one that, that you'll not laugh the one that you'll okay. play does that sound good okay okay let's do that let's take a look at this song first this is may's theme called the disaster of passion all right disaster here we go. Of passion? correct here we go I forgot that Mouse is an anime girl. Oh. Chat, is she jamming? I like it. It's very anime. Yes, I, I, I completely forgot who I was talking to. All right, so that's May's theme. This is Geo's theme. You ready? Ah. Ah. Here we go. Chat, is she vibing? I don't hear her vibing. Did we lose the war? I think we lost. What does this remind me? This reminds me of like... I don't know why this reminds me of 90s anime. 90s anime? I mean, it, yeah. It's got that vibe, that old school funky jazz vibe. It's All right. Some, it's like something out of Trigun. Trigun, huh? Yeah. I know what Trigun tri is. I know what Trigun is. I love Trigun, bro. 
Bash the Stampede. Uh, yeah, it was made by Madhouse, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's super good. <laughs> we gotta turn you into a weeb. What? Yeah, I know this. Look at that. I know. Yeah, I know this show. It's got. Yeah, it's got the guns. See? See, chat? It's got the guns? Yeah. And the guy with the blonde hair and the red jacket? Yeah. <laughs> his name is. His name is Vash. Yeah, Vash is Stampede. Yep. See, I know what it is. Okay. Anyway. I'm going to be Dolphin Girl. <laughs> Dang. All right, Dolphin Girl it is, Totsugeki. Another, another one recruited to the Totsugeki armory.